Imagine a classroom where textbooks and blackboards are replaced with smart devices and interactive learning platforms. A place where teaching is not just about imparting knowledge, but creating a dynamic, engaging, and personalized learning experience for each student. How you ask? The answer lies in the Internet of Things, or IoT. Before diving into the depths of IoT and its potential in revolutionizing teaching, it's essential to understand the basics. At the very core of IoT are sensors. There are two types, input and output sensors, and these little devices are the eyes and ears of the IoT world. Think about input sensors as the detectives of the IoT world. They're constantly gathering information about their surroundings. They measure parameters like temperature, light intensity, motion, and more. These sensors are like the students in your classroom, always eager to learn, always absorbing information. Now, what happens to all this information these input sensors are gathering? This is where output sensors step in. They take the information gathered by input sensors and translate it into actions. They're the ones turning on the lights when it gets dark, or sounding an alarm when there's a fire. If the input sensors are your students, the output sensors are the teachers, processing the information and making informed decisions. To put it simply, input sensors gather data from the environment, like a student taking notes in a class, while output sensors take this data and convert it into a physical response, much like a teacher using the notes to craft a lesson plan. So why are these sensors important? Because they form the basis of IoT. They allow devices to interact with the world and make decisions based on real-time data. And this has a huge potential in transforming the way we teach and learn. Imagine a classroom where a sensor detects that the light is too dim and automatically adjusts it or a smart device that tracks a student's progress in real time and tailors the lesson plan accordingly. This is not a distant future. It's happening right now, and it's all thanks to input and output sensors. In conclusion, the combination of input and output sensors forms the backbone of IoT. Input sensors act like diligent students, constantly gathering data. Output sensors, on the other hand, are the wise teachers, taking this data and making informed decisions. Together, they're revolutionizing the way we teach and learn, making education a more engaging and personalized experience. So next time you step into a classroom, think about how IoT and sensors could enhance your teaching. The possibilities are endless.